gems. Welcome to the Sapphire Star. Today I want to show you how to set up your very own shop on a really great platform I talked about earlier this week named Boost. Boost is a great place to sell 3D models, beer and clothes, and digital assets in general and a great place to find them or download them if you need them yourself. In this video I'll show you how to set up a shop from beginning to end on Boost so that you can begin sharing and selling your work. Let's do this! All right, Jen, so let's get started in how to create your own booth shop. So I'm gonna start completely from scratch, assuming you don't even have a booth account. So what we're gonna do is click sign in. If you don't have a Pixiv account, you'll have to make one. I'm going to sign in with one of my other Pixiv accounts. So once you get signed in to create a shop, you'll go up to your username and then you'll click create shop. Great, so it tells you how to build your own online shop. It tells you about digital products, physical products. Uh, you could do physical products here too. We're gonna be focusing on selling digital products, specifically Vroid clothing, textures, etc. for this video. So I will not be going into the other stuff. So this just talks to you about the service fee. You do have to pay a service fee. This is usually something that is included in all online shops. If you do something like Etsy or do something like creating a shop on Booth, all of that takes it into account. You do need a PayPal account for them to send you money and there'll be conversions and stuff going on as well. So you will have to make a PayPal account. So if you haven't made a PayPal account, make sure you make one and I'll leave a link for PayPal in the description down below. That's going to be a whole thing that you're also going to have to set up. And if you want to sell physical items, you will have to have a credit card. So this is pretty important. You do need to be 18 years and older to be working on stuff like this because you're going to be using your credit card and there's going to be other things involved as well. Usually when you're sell sending physical items as well, it's important for you to be 18 years and older. All right, so we're just going to click sell on booth. Next, you're going to actually give your booth shop a name or this is what link it will be going to. So we're just going to call this Lunary Shop. Lunary is a name of one of my OC. Obviously, we're not using Sapphire because we already have that. So whatever you want the the PM to be, you can even have it just be your username. All right, we're going to click create shop. And then this is my link to my shop up here. As you can see, the shop is currently closed. We're going to have to do some steps in order to open this. So you also have to confirm your email address if you want to receive notifications when people buy things and all that. So that m will be a step you'll have to take as well. Now we are presented with two options. You can set your items or open the shop. So I recommend for you to have not just one. You can start your shop with one item but it's usually more likely for you to have a couple items before you open up your shop. Think about bakeries and new shops that maybe have opened up in your local area. It would be pretty bad if they just opened their shop and had one type of cupcake that they were selling. So think about it like this. You want to have as many items as you possibly can to present different options to different customers because if you're only selling a Reese's Pieces cupcake, there might be a lot of people who don't even like Reese's Pieces. So definitely have a wide variety of things that you could sell before you open your shop. That would be ideal. You don't have to do this, but it would be ideal. Before we register our products, what I would like to do first is edit our shop settings. So we'll go to shop settings. We'll choose a name for the shop. I just called it Lunary's Witch's Corner. Lunary is one of my OCs. She is a witch OC. So I just figured for the fun of this to make it kind of aesthetic for her. So for introduction, I want you to write an introduction to your shop. You can talk about what you are creating. Maybe you focus on hair textures. Maybe you focus on eye textures. Maybe you focus on a lot of different things. So that's what's, what you're going to put here. And next is going to be the domain. Again, this is the link to your shop, what it actually is. You can change this at any time. And next, I want you to also add your links. So if you have a Twitter or a YouTube or anything like that, anything else, a DeviantArt, I want you to add it under website so people can see your credibility in the other places they can find you so they know they're not getting scammed. And then next, we have Google Analytics. I don't actually use Google Analytics, but if you want to look into that, you could set it up to track how often people are clicking on your shop and the, basically the different actions they're taking. For data ship, we're going to change this to one. It might start with seven because for a digital product, if we're giving a digital product, they're going to get it as soon as they buy or purchase the item. And then next, a word to the purchaser, you can write a little thank you note here. You're going to click update when you're done. Perfect. And then next, we're going to go back to shop management and we're going to go to edit appearance. So here is where you would want to upload a headed a header image. And this is going to be 1500 pixels by 500 pixels is the recommended. This is going to be uploaded right away so you can display it on your shop. I'll give you an example again of what mine looks like. This is my header right here. So I would recommend having your shop name and then maybe a little tagline that says what you create. Mine says hand painted textures, v red clothes. So you're going to want to work on a header imager for our, your shop. Next, you can choose the theme color. So this is what you want it to look like here at the buying page. So you can see it's going to change here. I chose blue because sapphire blue, these bright colors are sort of all have to do with sapphire. So again, go ahead and choose colors that are going to help represent your brand and your character that matches with your aesthetic. So next is going to be a shop background image.
image for mine I actually don't have a background image I thought the background image was a little bit distracting but it's gonna be something that goes on behind your shop and you'll be able to edit that and do different edits here with how you want it to repeat and look and you can keep previewing at your link that we looked at earlier to see what it looks like so then after that you'll click update and you'll have it all updated and ready to go next we'll go back to shop management so click up there once more and once we get all that set up now we can begin adding our products so that's when we're gonna go in here and click this so we're gonna go ahead and click set our items this is going to be in Japanese I had to refresh the page a few times before the translator suggested for me to be able to change it to English so we're going to try to change this to English again and we can go up here to the upper right and try to sort of mess with it so it looks like I had to actually switch it to the first option here to get it back to English and then Google Chrome presented me with the option great now we have it in English awesome so this is if you want to do mail orders physical items so again for this video we'll be focusing on digital selling digital products so we're just going to focus on this one up here registered download products great so next we're going to come up with a product name so when you're ready to sell a product on booth you're going to want to export if it is an image if it's a model it's going to be different you're gonna, like if you do hair you're going to end up exporting as an obj but for this tutorial i'm going to show you how to sell textures so if you guys are interested in a how to export hair and sell hair on booth video just let me know but this one's going to be texture specifically so what we're going to do is i would like to sell or put as an example on this shop this eye texture so what i did was i went down to irises the eyes that i made and i made these in adobe photoshop and then we're going to click edit texture up here at the right and then we're going to click on the layer and i'm going to export the layer and it, as you can see it's already here on my desktop called multicolored eye texture green and blue so name it whatever you want it to be in your shop i'm going to name it that we'll click save and we'll overwrite it yes and then we're also going to name the product name the same thing that i named the named the image there so next this is product image i want you to think about this like you are building out a magazine think about magazines when you're like sitting in a waiting office and you're looking at all the pretty clothes and stuff that's in there so how can you best represent your product and how it looks in action so you want to have what the actual product file will be which will be the eyes and then something that is how it looks in action so i already took some screenshots and some pictures if you want to take screenshots and pictures something that you can do is go up to this upper right area up here click on that camera icon and you can pose your character or run animations you can drop this down and go to poses and you can move your character around with these dots you can take a screenshot right here this little camera button down here and uh, with that camera button it will show it will ask you where you want to save it so you can save it to your desktop or again wherever you might need so after we take a picture then we're going to upload the pictures that we have I'm gonna do something that best represents the product there first is her eye texture and then we'll do maybe a little bit more of a zoomed out one and then we'll do the actual file itself so we'll have both of these screenshots here for them to take a look at and then we'll select our category next we're gonna go to 3d modeling we're gonna click on that and then click on the bar and then you will select vroid and then this is if you need to upgrade the age in case it was something that was a little bit more risque or needed to be an 18 plus audience so next we're gonna type in a description so I want you to type in something that represents this product so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will show you guys what I'm done you'll receive a PNG of the eye texture multicolored eye texture green and blue that you can upload right into Veered Studio as custom eyes for your character. Great, so you're gonna wanna add out multiple sections. This is gonna be super duper important. First, I like to do the how to apply this texture. So that sort of a how to is very important so people know how to actually use what you're selling because if they can't use it, that's gonna be really bad news. So how to apply it? You can either link people a video. I've done linked videos that I added as an unlisted video on YouTube or you can write out directions or you can do a combination of both, which would be the best. I'm gonna write out directions and I will probably record a video for this later. So we'll do that really quick. Cool, so I wrote out a six step directions and then below I could put a video if I wanted to how to do it as well. So I recommend doing a how to apply the texture or put it on their character. And then I also recommend a terms of service. So terms of service is very important to tell them where or where they cannot use it. So for my terms of service, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste it from some of my other ones. I already wrote this out. It might be different for you. Mine, I don't mind where people use these textures. I just don't want them to try and resell them anywhere or send them to their friends to help support me as the artist. Awesome. So next we're going to do tags. This is the tag section. So you want to tag it with as many things as you can. I will show you an example here. So first we'll do Vroid. We'll do Vroid Studio. So this is pretty much anything that has to do with what your character is or what this can be applied to. All right. So we have a bunch of tags now. So things that are related to what it is. So I have Vroid eye texture, eye texture, pretty much anything related to that. So next we're going to set our price. You can set it at zero if you want it to be free I'm gonna do 100 JPY so JPY stands for Japanese yen you'll want to look at the conversion rate to see how much it is to make the price reasonable so if I just go ahead and type in 100 JPN converted to USD 
whatever your local currency is. Mine's 88. So 88 cents, which is pretty great, I think, for a texture, eye texture. So I'm just going to do 100. And then here is we're going to, you're going to add the digital file or whatever file you need to send them. So that's a .obj if you're selling hair or a PNG if you're just selling a texture. That's where you're going to drop that. This is what they get on the purchase or on clicking on your item. And then next we'll do sell out of Japan accepted. Doesn't matter again because it's a digital product. Next is the options for variation. So this is super cool because if you want to sell a whole model that only one person can get period, you can turn the purchase limit to one or two or maybe I only want five people to be able to get this eye texture. So this is like setting how many of these things can actually be purchased. So right now I'm just going to set set it to five. Just for an example, scarcity can be really helpful to use if you are trying to sell a product and you only want a certain amount of people to use it because maybe I don't want everybody to have this hair texture. So again, it could be a limited time sort of thing for people to choose from. So this is definitely something to consider when making your objects. Next, we'll click save to publish. Now, you might not be able to publish if your email is not verified. So I'll show you how to make your shop public, but you will have to verify your email on your own. So next, we're going to go to back to manage shop and you'll go to your settings and you'll switch on your shop to open or public. And this option will be here once you verify your email. So again, if you can't do this yet, verify your email and then it should be set to go and you can send this link. It will say open. You can send this link to anybody you would like. And then this is where your followers are too if you want to keep track of that. And down here we'll show you your sales and how your shop is doing. So that's pretty much the basics and all you need to know for starting to sell your work on Booth. Hopefully this could be one step closer to selling your artwork online and making use of your digital art skills. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye!